all right i want to go over a quick uh possible fix for the v pilot error pop-up for like exception something um so basically what i did is i came to this site which i will post the link to and if you come down here you'll see how to update hyper x driver this is just for my specific bluetooth device but it'll get you to the whole audio section thing itself um so this yeah this program is you know you can update any other driver you have basically you come here download it i already did so i'm just going to discard that and i'll show you it's running right here driver easy i got the free version so you don't have to pay um just skip through the whole front part with the pay and come to this now you're gonna scan and once you uh hold on let me get this all right once you scan it'll come to this update tab and it'll show you every driver that needs to be updated everything that's already up to date etc now the one you're gonna look for is if you have Railtech USB audio that needs to be updated that's the potential issue causing the vpilot thing um, I also noticed that once I turned on my Bluetooth headset um, through here which is the HyperX and tried loading flight sim it would just go to a black screen and wouldn't load wouldn't have sound or anything and if I loaded it with my regular computer speakers loaded up like this and then turned on the Bluetooth I still wouldn't have sound in my Bluetooth uh, headset so now I have sound and this is basically what I did so you're gonna want to come here if you have it up update you want to go to manual if you don't have the pro if you want the pro that's up to you it's cost money per month or whatever you can do it manual as well easy so you'll click manually create I already created a restore point continue manually install and then once you click that it's going to pull up um, this now at the top search bar that you're gonna wanna click control C or right click copy you can keep that up whatever um, and then you're gonna wanna press the Windows button and X and it'll bring up this menu you could also do it um, if you go to your search and put in device manager it'll pull up the same thing um, so what you're gonna do is come down to sounds videos and game controllers double click and then search for Railtech USB audio go to driver and then click update driver once this pops up you're gonna browse from my computer and paste in what you copied from downloading that up at this bar you're gonna copy this paste it over here click next it's gonna update it apply and save everything whatever I already did it so I'm gonna click OK and basically once you're all set hopefully that fixed your vpilot issue so let me open that vpilot and as you can see loads up error doesn't pop up anywhere um, with that exception thing and I also do have sound playing through my Bluetooth headset now for Microsoft Flight Sim everything works so yeah if you guys you know if this definitely helped you good if not I will try to continue finding something but it definitely helped for me so thank you catch you guys later